December 9, 2023, an EF2 tornado carved a path from Nashville to Sumner County. It was only on the ground for an hour. But for many businesses, that hour has stretched into months. The recovery process is always long. Tonight, News 2's My Owen spoke with one Hendersonville business finally ready to make their grand reopening for the third time. Inside this store, it's literally all about art. Feels like we've got personal relationships even with the artwork itself. Each piece on the wall created by a local artist. <laughs> painting a picture of the importance of community, even during its darkest time. He called me and was just like, Joy, please go downstairs. You know, the cliche, it sounds like a train coming through. It's like a crackling sound, almost like electricity. And then there was a really loud boom and I saw a bright flash of light from the parking lot and a really, really loud noise. And I think it was our awning actually coming off the building and like scraping past the door. Sumner County declared a state of emergency. Officials called it a destructive tornado that tore through Hendersonville, impacting homes, infrastructure, and businesses like this one. Surreal, I, I went home crying because I thought this thing that I love so much, if it's not there, I don't know what I'm gonna do. But the building she loves so much still stands and soon will be back open. Our artists and our patrons, um, we're so lucky to have so many loyal customers and friends in the community that care about this gallery. And ever since the beginning, they're going, what can we do? How can we help? Now, four months later, and they say third times, the charm. We joke that this is our grand re, re, reopening um, because we, when we first moved into the space, we experienced a fire and were closed for about three months. And then there was uh, COVID and we were closed for almost three months then and now there's this and we've been closed since December so that's basically four so but this is only making them come back strong and their doors will officially open on Monday but several of their neighbors are still recovering as they eagerly hope the entire area will be able to bounce back soon